Good morning, hello. We just stopped by the duplex uh, where we put some of our long-term stuff in storage and we pulled out our fall wreath. So it's gonna be fall soon, so we're excited about that. Uh, this morning I went to the pharmacy and at the pharmacy we picked up some stuff. My wife's not feeling very well. We also went to Ace Hardware and we fixed a door that was a little bit off the hinges. Um, and then we saw that there was a pond activity, some sort of a, a citywide or a city planned activity for ponds, uh, which we did not have time to do, unfortunately. Um, but just helping out around the house this morning. Now we're gonna go get some groceries. Uh, we're hoping that this is the last time we'll be getting groceries for the entire month, and there's still two and a half weeks left in the month, so wish us luck on that. Actually, three weeks left in the month. And then we're gonna do a big, uh, possibly a big Costco run at the, um, at the very end of the month, beginning of next month. So um, we'll see you at home when we show you what we got. Walmart uh, parking lot for our food to pick up and uh, we're just getting a smaller haul today not too much stuff uh, we love that they're doing the shopping for us and uh, they just make that part of their service that they do going into the grocery store with four little kids uh, does one of two things one is it's very hard because the kids get bored and tired and they you know start grabbing Not stuff off bored, shelves and things like that because i'm mario and then um the other thing that it does too is it increases our impulse buys so we see things at the checkout stand and throughout the store that we're like you know what let's get some let's get some more of that you know and it makes our budget go higher so we really like the pickup at uh, walmart and the other stores we kind of wish costco did a pickup um, but they do not. We hear Sam's Club does, and so we're thinking about joining Sam's Club just for that reason alone. But uh, going through a Costco, we get tons of impulse buys and spend way too much money. We have a lot of fun in there too. So we we'll just wait for them to come out and talk to us because the app's not working, so we can't check in. And they usually come out and, and say hey. All right, and then Theo picked this up from the duplex. This is a gift I got. I used to be on the dinosaur tour. We toured across all of North America in big dino suits, which was really fun. I did it for a year and a half and then got kind of old being on the road, a new city every week, um, which it wasn't, the work wasn't that hard, but it was just hard never having a home base when I was in my uh, early 20s, mid 20s. And so I got this really cool thing and it's called Dino Excavator and it says, you rock, Jack, Alfred, all the best, Linda, 
Jack, I hope you dig life away from Dino Land. Come back, okay, best Rudolph or Randolph. And then heart you, Jack Allison. All really nice people that I got to meet on the road uh, with doing that job. They hired us as actors, but we were really puppeteers. If you want to check it out, it's called uh, Walking with Dinosaurs. And I think they still tour in Europe or Japan or something like that. Maybe not anymore with COVID, but it was a lot of fun. All right, hey, we're back. We just got all the groceries. I'm going to show you guys what we got. Uh, we found out our two older kids are going to go stay the night with their uh, grandparents tonight. And so we put the two young kids down at 7. So we get a little bit of a date night tonight, my wife and I. It's going to be a nice night. Last week we got to watch a movie. I'm not sure what we're going to do tonight. But we still have two little kids in the house. But anyway, let me show you what we got at Walmart. Uh, I think we spent about $161 today. And these are the things that we got. Here they are. So we'll start off here on the produce side. Um, as you can see, we got some bananas. Now we're gonna try to make this food last for about three weeks, but I don't know if it's gonna stretch that far, especially the fresh fruit and vegetables. But we're also gonna try to freeze one milk. We've never frozen a milk today. We're just gonna see how that goes. And then we'll stock up on a lot of milks next time we go. Uh, my wife's also gonna make some banana bread she's gonna try again. So all these bananas are ripe, but they will all get used either in banana bread or eating this week. We got some mandarin oranges here. Those go in our fruit bowl. Uh, we've got some apples here as well. And then we've got these two fruits. We'll probably have to eat these two first. I noticed they go bad um, first. We got a whole carton of eggs here. Let's see, this is, I think it's 60. Yeah, 60 eggs. It says so right here on the side, 60 eggs. And then we have um, some broccoli. We'll cut that up right after this video and some bell peppers. Both these things are bearded dragon eats as well. We have some sugar snap peas. The kids like the raw vegetables better. We'll probably eat through all these raw vegetables, including the whole carrots here uh, within one week. So we might just have to go get some more uh, vegetables, which shouldn't be too expensive. We got three gallons of milk. As I mentioned, we're gonna freeze one. My wife wanted some ginger ale, so she got some of that. And we also got two packages of hot dog buns um, for our hot dogs that we're gonna have. We usually have that about once every week or two. Uh, we got some celery here. It's probably for a recipe with my wife making a recipe. Some sliced and block cheddar cheese. We've got some marshmallows here. It sounds like they're going to make marshmallow rice crispy treats, which I'm excited to try. And then uh, my wife went ahead and got some salsa. I guess that's one um, drawback of the... I guess it's not going to focus on that. There it is. Of the uh, pickup is it has a coupon on it like this for $1 off. You can't get that coupon. Um, because you weren't in the store to take it off and give it to them. So anyway, but to save an hour or two out of my day of not walking through a grocery store with four little kids is totally fine with me. Some more salsa here, as well as a couple different kinds of pickles. We got just some kosher baby dills, and then we got some hot and spicy. We'll probably get a big, uh, big jar of pickles um, at the um, at the Costco at the end of this month or the very beginning of next month. Got some different uh, smaller uh, little pickle recipes to try. Salt and vinegar chips, we got two of those. And then uh, my wife's been really enjoying some lemonade. So she got some lemonade for her and the kids, of course. And we had the powdered kind, but she said it wasn't tasting the exact same. And so she got the kind in the jug. Then we got some um, cut green beans. The kids always need some vegetables with all their meals. So we got some of those. And again, we're gonna go through these uh, raw vegetables first, and then we'll go through those next. And then we got two loaves of bread. We completely ran out of the six loaves of bread that we bought at Costco. And then we got one more loaf of sourdough bread. We got two packages of Ballpark Frank hot dogs. That'll last um, one meal and some leftovers. We've got some delicious um, dessert items over here. We've got Luigi's um, Italian ice. And then two different packages of drumsticks. We've got the We Heart chocolate with three different types of chocolate. And I know my wife missed out on one of the flavors of chocolate last time, the white chocolate one. And the kids got all of those, so I bet you she's going to take one of those, make sure she gets that before the kids get to it. And then we got the cookie dipped drumsticks as well. We got six boxes of cereal here. We've got the frosted mini wheats box here. We got the raisin bran crunch, frosted flakes, honeycomb, cinnamon toast crunch, and then the rice krispies. They're going to use that to make. Uh, Rice Krispie treats. So, um, great haul um, uh, this week, and 
Again, we're gonna do a bigger haul at the end of the uh, month for Costco to stock up, but we have a ton of chips still, and we have still have a ton of meat from Costco, and so uh, that's gonna last us a while. Again, the total was about $161. Um, if you're gonna look over here at my budget for the month, and I haven't added it up yet, I probably should uh, before I started this video, but you can just kind of see here what we're working with. This is the grocery item so far. So we had $12.98.64 left over, and then we've used 40, 34, 13, 166, and 17. So we still have a lot of money left in our grocery budget. All right, so I've got my totals for you, what we're working with this month. So groceries, we still have $1,027. And then, which is a lot of money, which we're excited about. Maybe we will get a half a cow sooner than we thought. Uh, kids budget, we still have $355.85. Um, that came out once upon a child, ended up being $70.35. We ended up not needing to return anything. Um, I have $176.82 of my own personal money. That should be a lot less. That should be about zero right now or just under zero. But for two months of my golf membership earlier this summer when I reactivated it, they would not start charging me. They just, I kept going in there and they said, oh yeah, you're being charged, you're being charged, but I never got any bills. And finally they started charging me and I, I pleaded with them, but they wouldn't take any more money. So it's, you know, it is what it is. So I have $176.82. My wife still has... $39.61. Car, we have $177.45. $75 of that needs to go for car registration for one car, another $75 for another car, and then uh, we also have the two $7 that we have to spend to uh, get, the, um, get the cars looked at, because you have to do that in Texas every year. And so that money is pretty much all spent, all gone. We just have to get it done. And that's if we don't get any more gas for the rest of the month. So that will probably go into the negative, but there won't be, hopefully, God willing, much coming out next month. Uh, we also have a check engine light, which they don't pass you with the check engine light on, but I have something that can turn it off. I just have to find it in the garage. So I'm going to look for that later today. Donation, um, I'm used to this being over here on the side, so I kept putting the wrong uh, thing in the wrong category. That's why I see so many things checked out. I'm not counting utilities this month. I should. I'll start next month. Uh, donation, we still have $1,137.18, which we're excited to spend that someday um, giving. Uh, insurance, $699. That needs to be beefed up a lot next month. We're going to have to put $900 in it next month, uh, if we make it that far, uh, to uh, get the car insurance six months paid, uh, plus just a little bit extra in there. Medical, we're down to $237.01. We'll beef that up a little bit, maybe more. I also want to start going to uh, sort of a, like a mental health professional, uh, which will probably cost about, I think, like 75 to 150 bucks a month to go once a month just to get a check checked in, just to talk to somebody. I think it's good to get uh, mental health services, and I haven't had it since I was probably a teenager um, consistently, so I'd like to start doing that, and that will come out of this budget here. And then family, we're at negative 135.65, and we also have at least the mowers to come out this month, and theirs is probably going to be around $159.99 because they probably did four mows. So that is going to be way in the negative, so we're going to put a lot of money in that for next month. And then next month, too, we hopefully really want to get the kids in karate lessons, and that's where that's going to come out of. So we need uh, hopes and prayers uh, for getting enough money in every account, which we are always have enough. We've always had our daily bread, and so we know it'll be okay. But it might not be till November till we get them in karate unless we can really make something work uh, with the numbers. So uh, we're probably also going to put $400 in the kids' budget this next month, we're thinking, uh, just because Christmas and two birthdays are coming up. And so we want to make sure that that has enough money in there for that. But they probably have enough already, um, and plus some winter clothes and things like that. All right, and all, we tried all the clothes on all the kids. They look great. Thank you for joining me. And if you um, feel like you like this kind of content, you want to watch more of it, please subscribe with the notifications on. And if you leave a comment or a like, I'll definitely notice right away. Um, appreciate it. Thanks. Have a good day.